In this video, you will learn how to use a serological pipette in a variety of pipette pumps. Serological pipettes are a type of graduated pipette commonly used to measure volumes over one milliliter. Serological pipettes have two scales, one for filling and on the other side, one for dispensing. They often have a cotton plug in one end to prevent contaminants from being drawn into the vacuum source. Serological pipettes are used with three main types of pipette pumps. The trivalve, the syringe, and the electronic pump. A trivalve pump has three valves an A or air valve which releases air from the bulb, an S or suction valve used to fill the pipette, and an E or exhaust valve to empty any liquid remaining in the pipette tip. To use a trivalve pump, attach the pump to a serological pipette by twisting the top of the pipette into the bottom of the bulb. To fill the pipette, gently squeeze the bulb to release air through the one-way air valve. Next, Place the tip of the pipette into the solution you wish to transfer. Now gently press on the S or suction valve located directly below the bulb until the pipette is filled just above the desired volume. Then gently squeeze on the E or exhaust valve until the bottom of the meniscus touches the desired graduated line. Move to the target container you wish to transfer the sample into. Squeeze the E or exhaust valve to dispense the solution. Any remaining solution can be blown out by holding the S valve and squeezing the bulb at the same time. This is a syringe style pipette pump. The parts of this pump include a gasket that attaches to the pipette, an exhaust valve which is used to expel the solution, a dial which is used to adjust the amount of solution transferred, and the plunger which is used to blow out any remaining solution. Insert the pipette into the gasket by pressing and twisting firmly. Then insert the pipette into the solution to be transferred. Using your thumb, roll the dial downward to suck up solution. The dial can be moved up and down to get the exact amount of solution needed. Next, move the pipette to the target container. Press on the exhaust valve to transfer the contents of the pipette. When finished, any remaining solution can be blown out by pressing down on the plunger with your thumb. The parts of an electronic pipette pump include the gasket that connects to the pipette, a filter that prevents any contaminants from getting into the pump, a suction button, and an exhaust button. Attach a pipette to the pump by firmly pushing and twisting it into the gasket. Next, place the tip of the pipette into the solution you wish to transfer. Slowly press on the suction button and fill to the level you wish to transfer. The suction and exhaust buttons can be used to obtain the exact volume you wish to transfer. Next, place the pipette tip into the target container. Slowly press on the exhaust button until all of the solution has been transferred. 